Well, welcome to another video on OMSDI 2. And today I'd like to go through how to set up your Xbox 360 controller to operate with OMSDI 2. And in OMSDI there is a game controller tab when you go into options. And you can find if whatever joystick, wheel, whatever is plugged in. In our case the 360 controller is plugged in. Make sure it's as active. You can auto config. Now, uh, if this works for you, you can go ahead and give this a try and see if it works in the game. However, as you can notice, I'm pressing my controller buttons and nothing's happening. So, if that's the case, what hap what you do is you start the game. Okay, once the game started, we're gonna start at the hit the escape key. And then that'll bring up the menu within the game and then hit the controller and active and then you can use your and it should recognize it within the game and then you put the settings in and press OK uh, but you can see here you can set it to by progressive or progressive or narrowed try the different settings and see what happens for you so Okay, so you're going to set it to active, auto config, run your controller, then go back to the game and see how it runs. And <laughs> for me, it's erratic. Uh, as you notice, I have to hit the steering wheel on the uh, menu, which is third row, uh, on the, almost to the right. And make sure the steering wheel is yellow on the menu screen, and that will activate it for you. If you find that it still runs erratic, even though you've tried the different preferences with the game controller settings in the Omni 2 options, you can get X Powder or Pinnacle. I'm using Pinnacle here and do your settings with that so what you want to do uh, by using a game controller profiler uh, with I'll give you an example what I do in Pinnacle and you, and you can do similar things with whatever profiler you have but uh, first thing you do is find in Steam Apps Common OMSI and then find the application file the OMSI dot exec and what you're going to do for, for a pinnacle is drag and drop that onto that little shortcut box and it'll, it'll write the path for you and create the profile and of course I already have one created so once you have it created you can select it down there in edit configuration and it will bring up your controller it gives you a figure of it and then these are the different buttons on your controller and as you uh, mouse over them you can see them light up and get highlighted on the, the controller image and what you got to do is right click on and then once you right click all you have to do is press whatever key you want it to be mapped to and so in this case I press the insert key and it maps the insert key And just right clicking it and then I can make it the enter key and change it back. Insert key. So right click and then keyboard command. So back and forth a few times on that just to show you how it's done. Now the other way of doing it is you can left click and then just say quick command and it will do the same thing. So right click or left click will do it. What quick assignment or and now we use the standard assignments and uh, you can set it that way too so there's multiple ways you can set your keys in pinnacle um, now what I did is I set my triggers uh, I mean those you can see them highlight num 7 and num 9 uh, that's for the left and right blinker the O key uh, turns on and off the uh, controller within the game 
and then the spacebar blows uh, centers the screen. Spacebar always centers the uh, view in the game, and then H is your horn. And that's pressing straight down on the paddle. And so to set the left paddle and the right paddle, set joystick, that would be the left paddle. That's the left joystick. And then the right paddle is the right joystick. You can click on those to map them. So for the right paddle, I like to map that to the arrow keys. So it's as simple as setting map to arrow keys and then hitting OK and you're good to go. Now if you want to change the preferences here as far as how sensitive those arrow keys are on the paddle, or how sensitive the paddle would be in applying the arrow keys, the dead zones and all the all that the range of the paddle and all that stuff. Uh, but it works just fine for me for using the right paddle for my views. And then for the the left paddle, I use that for steering the uh, the bus. So I originally, you know, you could say map to mouse. That works actually just fine. Left and right would be steering left and right would be steering right. And then when you push the paddle up, it goes faster and you pull the paddle down. Uh, then it goes slower. Uh, although I decided that I was not going to do it that way because it got to be, I really wanted to use the trigger keys on the Xbox controller uh, to break and, and throttle up. So what I did was I mapped by creating my own command, that mouse left and mouse right, they're not, they're commands I created by saying new, and then I gave it a name. Um, I'm going to delete that. I don't want to create a new one. I don't want to create another one, so I'll just go delete that one. So what I did was uh, hit Edit Setup, and then it brings you to this screen, and then you can choose mouse to button left, mouse button middle, mouse button right. So I choose mouse button. I'll just say Press, and then Activate, and then it puts it in the uh, um, as a command. And so you can play around with that to get the command the way you want it and then say OK. And then you have a new command. And so I named it mouse left, mouse right, mouse down, mouse up. And so I was able then to use these new commands I've created. And as you can see, you can do it to the mouse right as well. I originally had it on hold, but I it worked better if I just said press and then activate and then uh, OK. So I'll cancel out through all these. And then I, I got all my new commands. Now for the triggers, since I've already created these, all I have to do is say standard commands and then you can see down below are the new commands I created. So for the left trigger I want mouse down, for the right trigger I want mouse up. And this uh, ends up working just beautifully for me for driving the bus with my Xbox controller. So you can see the on the Xbox controller image uh, hovering over those. If you if once you set those, you can right click them and edit them and edit the sensitivity of them. And so you'll probably play around a lot on the range and the sensitivity and everything to get it just the way you want. But you have full control over how how well it does, and then you can use your your controller to load the game, and then the game will take the commands. Um, but the trick is, once you load up OMSD2 and start the game, in order for it to recognize that you have the controller, um, it'll recognize the controller, but in order for it to, 
to allow the controller to be used as the mouse or whatever settings and buttons you have you have to activate it within the game uh, by activating the controller by uh, pressing the uh, alt key to bring up the menu uh, by default the menu comes up and you can see the third row fourth button to the right is the steering wheel and you make sure it's yellow and you make sure it's set to mouse and then the game instead of setting it to controller notice I set it to mouse and then the game's going to recognize uh, the controller as the mouse and you can steer and you see now I'm steering and it's not erratic it's nice and smooth And if you find it's too sensitive, you can go back into the Pinnacle software preferences and change the range, change the sensitivity, whatever you need. And I'm using the triggers now to pull that uh, mouse cursor down. Well, actually, I don't think you can see the cursor on the screen in the uh, with the recording video recorder I'm using, but. You can see I got a nice smooth turning with the Xbox 360 controller. And I'm using the right paddle for views or I can just center my view. Everything works beautifully and smooth. And then if I if you find the triggers are too quick, <laughs> then you can set the sensitivity down so it doesn't break too too hard on you but that's it that's how I get the Xbox uh, 360 controller working well with the uh, OMSI 2 and now uh, it's really a joy driving this hope you enjoyed and we'll catch you next time